Hey everyone and welcome to the Daily Scope 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 for the 9th of January. So, misunderstandings of what is meant by what is said can cause illusion in relationships, leading to, for some of you, heartbreaks or upsets in relationships. This energy is good for focusing on unconditional love and becoming more sensitive to your emotions and those of others. And unconditional love doesn't mean allowing others to abuse you in any way. It just means loving that person for who they are and what they are. And sometimes we have to walk away from people if they can't respect our boundaries or are not capable of loving us in the ways that we need allows for grounded psychic work and looking into ways to heal your emotional spiritual and psychological blockages can help you feel more connected to a power greater than yourself and seeing the beauty in the simple things of life when this period is active also there's a danger that you will be more susceptible to manipulation and sweet talk if you enjoy the flirtation of deception then fair play if not make sure you check any information you're told during this transit especially in the romance and hookup front be cautious in all your dealings with people even those you know yet don't be paranoid about it just trust you have the power to use good judgment and you will Mercury also makes a bioquintile to Mars. So again, it supports favourable progress and allowing for negotiations to be made in business, especially those involving machinery, factory, industrial, kind of steel works and all of that, sports and politics, the gifts of creative thinking and solutions and perseverance are given. The power to avoid bullets or attacks directly aimed at you is giving you the chance to find your way out of difficult situations making connections based on common interests forgetting professionalism and airs and graces being down to earth and at the worst end of the spectrum you know some people can take it a bit too far and be crude so watch out for that like your boss you having a joke and then he says something totally off the wall or see or they so just watch out for or you can be the one that takes the joke too far so watch out for that but all in all bringing a bit of humour could break the ice and be welcome learning new things in a childlike or less formal way can help you retain the information content creators can use this energy to discuss the pros and cons of being competitive explaining how competition can be a great motivator pushing you to strive for the best but on the other hand if taken too far competition can make even the closest relationships well into a competition causing a continuous loop of all involved trying to constantly be number one in the relationship which can decay even the deepest of loves you can discuss ways to be creative in achieving success and how to handle life's victories and failures in a healthy manner explaining that both are natural parts of life and that by turning work into play life can become more meaningful and fun and the importance of going into a career that you like or even if you don't like making it fun just to get the day away and to have some kind of goals you have a five-year plan save slowly 10 percent now it's hard when you're in a recession and you may think or one percent just try and put a pound or ten pounds a week aside that your wage never touch it for the next five years because it's all about the long game you know yeah just think of all the people we've all known by the time we're 30 in the news and that who get great sums of money and it all goes why because you have to have the mindset of saving and even if you start off with saving one penny one one cent and then you for a year if that if you think oh, i'm a crap saver i always waste my money just try the smallest amount just try never ever touch it do that for five years and then see where you go and sometimes we have to trick ourselves into bringing these healthy habits into our life that's the point i'm making here so yeah venus also makes a trying to mars so when venus tries mars people can become more passionate wanting to give receive gifts or affection it's a good energy for socializing and solving arguments as people can become more friendly and empathetic so it's kind of like supporting that venus neptune energy even though venus is semi-square 
sharing that too and allowing for those deceptions this is supporting you meeting new people and people being a bit more friendly and maybe not trying to take you for a ride this is a very fertile transit and you can give birth to whatever it is you put your mind and action to it this time so choose wisely you can be full of beans vitality energy at this moment which is great for working towards any goals you need to start or finish you can be more attractive to others and they can find you equally appealing watch out for being too idealistic as i warned earlier because this is another influence that say that some people may do what they want to get what they want out of life right now even using and abusing you others would do what they as much as they can to escape the harsh realities of life which is good still don't run too far away from the fairy so it allows for us to be a bit more light-hearted maybe watch a rom-com or something else that interests you just make a comedy makes you laugh on the business front this energy is excellent to come up with new money making ideas or expand any current ones developing new fresh partnerships or strengthening old ones mixing business with pleasure can happen yet it may not be the best idea in the long run but hey it may again break the ice great vibration for sporting activity dancing and enjoyment of music and art and for entertainers especially those involved in performing arts who use this their personal magnetism to deliver their best performances yeah or even get what they want so yeah that's the daily scopes 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 for the 9th of january <laughs>